What's up, guys? Welcome to David vs. Film. I am David. Yo soy David. On this channel, I watch both older and newer movies alike to offer you honest reactions. My style tends to be tongue-in-cheek, so please keep that in mind, but also know that I have the utmost respect for all the films, their creators, and their fans. For all you returning viewers, and especially you returning subscribers, what's up? If you have not yet subscribed and you would like to join our merry band of misfits and superstars, go ahead and click the subscribe button now, but be sure to also click the notification bell. That lets you know we've uploaded new content and it also helps our channel grow immensely. Let me tell you before we get started, I have been blown away by you guys' comments, specifically the portion about extended versus theatrical cuts of these films. As you probably already know, I have chosen the theatrical cut of Fellowship mainly because from what you guys have told me in previous videos, these theatrical versions were the ones you first saw that you fell in love with, either in the theaters or at home. Usually those were the versions you saw. And that is the experience that I'm trying to replicate on this end when I watch it for the first time as well. That's the only reason that I'm watching these versions. Now, we're gonna continue with that one for Fellowship because we've already started it, but for Two Towers and for Return of the King, I am considering doing the extended cuts, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think on that, and then I'm gonna review those, kind of think on my own opinions about it, and then we'll go from there. But for the one tonight, we're gonna to stick with theatrical, and I really appreciate so much of the positive feedback from you guys on that and all the other information. You guys have been amazing with filling in details and gaps and questions I had, so Thank you, thank you for that as well. I won't waste any more time with the intro. We can just jump right in to Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, part two. Sting. Just giving him his sword. Mithril, as light as a feather and as hard as dragon scale. Uh-oh, there's the ring. Play it cool, play it cool. Oh! Oh yeah, you should hide that face. That was some scary shit, Bilbo. I mean, I know he didn't mean it, but woo. I'm sorry for everything. Oh, Bilbo, it's okay, buddy. Just don't make that face again. Ian Holm is a really great actor. There are a lot of great actors in this. He really is good, though. I really like Ian Holm. Here they go again. The perspectives. I know it's not like a broken record with that, but I just love. The attention to that detail where they show the shorter and the taller to really give you the the sense of the hobbit's height. That's beautiful. We must hold this course west of the Misty Mountains for 40 days. From there, our road turns east to Mordor. I never get tired of watching sword training. I always find it to be one of the most interesting things in, in movies where they show it. It could easily wield a sword at this point from, from watching movies. I'll probably drop it in five seconds. Oh my God, they're feisty. Crabine from Dundland. Hide! Hurry! What is it? Spies of Solomon. Passage south is being watched. Ah, spies. We must take the pass of Kalathos. Huh, up there? It's cold. But on the other hand, snow cones. Dude. It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Follow me. I cannot. Uh-huh. So, Gandalf, you try to lead them over Garadras. Will you risk a more dangerous road? I believe he will. He's not shying away from a challenge, I don't think. There is a fell voice on the air. It's Saruman! Man, you are really, really, really messing things up for them. We gotta pass over the mountain. Let us go under it. Let us go through the mines of Moria. Moria. The dwarves delved too greedily and too deep. You know what they awoke in the darkness. Shadow and flame. 
That looks scary. Sure do. We will go through the mines. So be it. His mind, he's like, well, crap. I can definitely see what you guys have said where like with this shorter version, a lot is left out. I get the feeling like a lot is left out. It seems like we're jumping pretty quickly along this trail. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Speak friend and enter. enter. If you are a friend, you speak the password and the doors will open. It's a riddle. What's the Elvis word for friend? Melon. Frodo. Oh. Little genius. Oh. Enjoy the fabled hospitality of the dwarves. This, my friend, is the home of my cousin Balin. It's a tomb. No. Get out! Oh, oh no, no, no. Yeah, that's frightening. Oh god, it has teeth. Into the mine! I mean, I knew this journey wasn't going to be granola bars, kumbaya, and campfires, but damn. There's something down there. It's Gollum. He's been following us for three days. Gollum! Wow, I like his eyes. That's really cool, the effects they did with his eyes. Do not be too eager. Hmm, good advice, good advice. Bilbo was meant to find the ring. In which case, you also were meant to have it. I love their moments together. And it's certainly developing, you know, in a heavier way than when the movie started with the whole, you know, hey, hey, haven't seen you in so long. It's all light and happy and birthday parties. And then now it's death, doom. Let me risk a little more light. Dwarf city of Dwarrow Town. Ah, okay. Oh, it's a gift shop. Oh no, more bodies. No. No. We must move on. We cannot linger. That's true. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but that's even louder. This was like me coming home at two in the morning when I was younger at my parents' house. <laughs> His face cracks me up. Oh no. Yeah, that'd be a, a, a wee bit frightening. Get back! Take both to Ganda! They have a cave troll. Oh yeah, he's pissed and ready to fight now. Oh, beautiful. Delicious. Oh. oh. Here comes big boy. Oh, he is great. Look at that. Wow. Ah! Check for the ring, check for the ring. Oh my god! Oh. I mean, I should have seen it coming a mile away, but still. I did not see any of this coming when I first started watching this. I just thought it'd be a walk in the park for old Frodo. My god, he's 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 taking some hits. That was a bit of a fight. I think the troll in Harry Potter was cooler though. Kidding. Don't start typing, I'm just kidding. Just messing with you guys. Oh, he had the protection on. Okay, good. You are full of surprises, Master Baggins. A little bit. To the bridge of Kassadun. I don't think I mentioned the music in the first part of the, uh, the movie, but I really like this score. It's really, really great music. I know I mentioned the effects, but it's a good score. Oh, sh Oh. I love scenes like this where there's no clear way out. You know the rules of the forest. If they run, something much scarier is coming. 
This foe is beyond any of you. Run! Ooh. Oh, careful! This reminds me of the music, the chanting from when Christian Bale is climbing the wall in Batman. But better because it's Lord of the Rings. I know, this is better. If it weren't for Lord of the Rings, there would be no Batman. Nobody tosses a dwarf. <laughs> That's hilarious. I like him. He makes me laugh. Come on. <sighs> Man, this is crazy. It's like MC Escher on acid. I've heard that. Okay. That's badass. Oh no. Ah. Blimey, you fools. What? No. I mean, I know it can't be, but surely not. Legolas, get them up. See, this is where I wish I did know some of the story because I don't know whether to freak out or not. By nightfall, these hills will be swarming with orcs. We must reach the woods of Lothlorien. I mean, it started off kind of, you know, not slow, but just, you know, kind of gradual, and they're making their way, and then just before you know it, all hell breaks loose. Woo! They say that a great sorceress lives in these woods. An elf. All who look upon her fall under her spell. You bring great evil here, ring bearer. I mean, no offense. I have the eyes of a hawk and the ears of a fox. <laughs> you have entered the realm of the Lady of the Wood. Come, she is waiting. If this is who I think it is, I'm be a happy boy. Um, amazingly beautiful. <gasps> Love me some Kate Blanchett. Tell me where is Gandalf, for I much desire to speak with him. He has fallen into shadow. The quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray but a little and it will fail. Tonight you will sleep. Welcome, Frodo. Ooh. One who has seen me die. Ooh, what's that about? Have you ever seen his Aragorn? I've seen the White City. One day, our paths will lead us there. This is like going from one extreme to the other. You've got literally the hellfires a minute ago to like now the four seasons of this area. Beautiful. All oh, those feet. Will you look into the mirror? What will I see? Things that were. Things that are. And some things that have not yet come to pass. That's a dangerous mirror. My mirror just shows what is, and it's already bad enough. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, shall love me and despair. Okay, keep the ring, keep the ring. Put it back, put it back. Even the smallest So many good lines in this. And if you I've heard before and had no idea it was from this. So that's awesome. Whom do you serve? Saruman. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Those things are scary. Daytime, nighttime. I'd be so scared of these things. That's why I would have no place in the fellowship. I wouldn't even be like honorable mention. One of the halflings carries something of great value. Bring them to me alive. Kill the others. Farewell, Frodo Baggins. I give you the light of Erendil. I love her so much. Okay, so this is probably where I would have liked the extended cut because I feel like we just got here and now we're already leaving again. 
I would have liked to have spent more time there. Again, disgusting scenery. I mean, are you kidding me? This has got to be the most beautiful place on earth. I've got to go New Zealand. Hide the boats and continue on foot. We approach more doors from the north. We should leave now. A shadow under threat has been growing in my mind. Something draws near. So is he just perceptive or does he have like a special kind of skill? Where's Frodo? You guys gotta keep a closer eye on Frodo. I mean, he's kind of the whole reason you're all here. And this is twice now he's just kind of wandered off, you know? So like, let's just kind of keep an eye on old Fro. Frodo, I know why you seek solitude. If you would but lend me the ring. No. <gasps> See, here we go. You are not yourself. That's right, he's not. Oh. <gasps> it is not your save by unhappy chance. Aragon, Aragon, Aragon. Ah. You will take the ring to Sauron! You will betray us! Curse you! Curse you! Sean Bean has an amazing ability to easily transition between charming and funny and affable and mean and stern and all different kinds of emotions. We, he's so good at acting all types of uh, emotions, just effortlessly. He's really, really great. And thank you guys for explaining to me the realm that Frodo goes into when he uh, does this, which I thought he was just disappearing. Where is the ring? Stay away! I swore to protect you. Can you protect me from yourself? No, oh, there's the ring. Oh, he's good. I would have gone with you to the end. Look after the others. Run! Oh, well, there they are. I can take you predator looking at them. No problem. On the hapless! On the hapless! Like what? A lot going on. What are you doing? He's leaving. Run, Frodo. Go. Hey! Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, look out, look out, look out, look out. Oh. So keeps on fighting too. That's a man right there. Oh my god. Oh. Brave though. Brave guys. Aww. That's a, oh, that makes me sad. Ah, good, 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 good. Whew. Right, you don't know who you're fighting, son. Good. Forgive me. I did not see. No. Oh. You fought bravely. Be dead. But I swear to you, I will not let the White City fall. He knows what to say. <sighs> guys, 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 guys. This is way more than I expected. My king. So sad. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. Frodo! Mr. Frodo! Oh, that's gotta be hard. For both of them. I'm going to Mordor oh. alone. Of course you are. And I'm coming with you! <laughs> Come on. The fellowship has failed. Not if we hold true to each other. We will not abandon Merry and Pippin to torment and death. Mordor. I hope the others find a safer road. Ooh. 
as is the case uh, with all of the first time uh, movies that I watch, I come into them as blind as possible. So obviously, when, and as I said in the intro, the longer intro for the first part, you know, when you come into these kind of uh, films that are iconic like this, and they've already been around for 20 years now, uh, there are inevitably spoilers that come out uh, about characters, scenes, plot points, things like that. I knew very little going into this. So I, I have been very pleasantly surprised, first and foremost, at the amount of action uh, that came in this. To be honest with you, I knew there were the three movies. Uh, and I knew they were long. All right. So I knew that, obviously. Uh, but as a result, I really thought that the Fellowship of the Ring would be so much set up. I felt that it would be so much setting the table for what was to come in probably a more action packed second movie and a, you know, no holds barred third and final finale, right? That's just what I stupidly assumed. Had no idea there would be this much action in the first one. Also, one thing that I am truly perplexed about that I was not anticipating is where we go from here. Uh, you know, I, I kind of guess I just assumed as the movie was going that these would be the group that stays together all the way through. Part of me knows how these movies and shows that are similar work. I know we would have lost one or two along the way. Uh, we would have had the fake out death where you think you've lost one, then they show back up somehow. I know, but I really thought that the core of the group would stay the same. I never thought it would splinter like this. So that's a big thing for me right now. I am loving the way that they are, are, are making this more textured that way by, by splitting the group. And we're going to follow, you know, this offshoot here. You've got, you know, Frodo and Sam here. Like, I really am looking forward to how they develop that. And then, of course, the resolution that comes from that as well. I loved every character. There, I will say this. That is very rare for me that there is not one character that doesn't get on my nerves. Usually there's always one, always one that I don't care for. Every single person is so well cast in this that I literally have no complaints on any of them. Another thing that, and this is definitely what appeals to the more dramatic side within me, I love alliances and betrayals. So I assume there will be at least one or two betrayals. Those are the ones that always get me. I am very excited to see where this goes next. Uh, I plan to watch and split the next two movies into two as well. As I told you guys at the beginning, I'm still... Weighing options on extended versus theatrical. I know you guys have not shied away from your opinions on this so far, so please continue to let me know what you think. As usual, also let me know plot points I've missed, trivia, timelines. Oh my God. If there was one thing that was, that was a close second to the debate on the theatrical versus extended cut, it was people telling me about the timeline. So let me know timelines. Let me know what I've missed. Uh, but yeah, this this was this was I mean kick ass. What else can you say? It's 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 exactly uh, what I hoped it would be and more. So I will see you guys in two towers. I hope to have that up in about a week's time, uh, maybe two weeks depending on how things fall. But but soon, it's not going to be one of those things where I wait like three months and hey, remember Lord of the Rings? Let's let's get back to that. No, not at all. If you found value in the video as usual, please give it a like. That helps me. That helps the channel. Helps me bring you guys such great content that I hope I do. If you want to subscribe as I said before, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. In the meantime, you guys have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video.